بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تؤسر وتم بالخير يدخل عبد الملك عبد الملك gets in and uh, Malik means the king and Al Malik means the honor so like in Surah Al Fatiha we have Maliki Yawm al uh, the honor of the day of judgment and Surah Nas we have Maliki Nas uh, that means the king of the humanity so that's the small difference between Malik and Malik Al Madarisu the teacher Al Ana Ta'ti wa Qadin Taha Al Darsu Aw Kada now the teacher says you come now while the lesson is finished or is about to finish. Alana, as we know that it's, uh, it means now, it's a verb as well. And here we have wow. Now we need to see that what kind of wow is this? Uh, this is also called wow al-hal. We have learned, I think in lesson number four about wow al-hal that comes with the nominal sentence, al-jumla al ismiya and the example was دخلت المسجد والإمام يركع I entered the masjid and the imam was doing rukur. Here we can see that it has it has been used with the past tense or it has been used with the verb over here. So in this case, if we want to use wow hal with the with the verb, then it always comes with قد and after that it has to be past tense. So there are two conditions. If we want to use wow al-hal with the, with the verb, the verb should come with qad and also it should be the past tense. As we can see here, intaha, yantahi, intihaan means to finish or to come to an end uh, from number eight. As now we can see that uh, this is wow al-hal and two conditions have been met. Number one, we have qad over here and number two, we have the past tense over here. You come now while while the lesson is while as we can see now the translation is while, and uh, um, page number I'm not really sure. Um, so um, we have the translation here while and it is not translated as and. Please be careful over here. You came now while the lesson is finished or is about to finish. Uh, we shouldn't translate it, uh, you came now and the, les the lesson is finished because this is wow al-hal and it is translated as while. Abdul Malik, ذهبتu ila mustawsafi, mustawsaf. Okay, first of all, can you figure out if this is ismul fa'il or ismul maf'ul? Ismul uh, mustawsaf. Yes, yes. Yeah. Ismul maf'ul. Mm -hmm. Because we have Fatha before the last letter, yeah? So it is Mustawsaf. Now we know that Ismul Maf'ul, uh, it can be used as Dharf Al-Makan or it can be used as Dharf Al-Zaman. So now the, he says, ذَهَبْتُ إِلَى مُسْتَوْسَفِ الْجَامِعَةِ To the university uh, clinic or dispensary. So clinic or dispensary, what do you think about it? Is this Ismul Maf'ul or is it a place? Okay. Please. Excellent. So perfect. Yeah. So it is. It is Dharf Makan, and we have been learning this from form number two ever since we started. That in in the derived forms of the verb, we don't have any specific pattern for Dharf Makan or Zaman like we have in the uh, the verbs that have three root letters Athalati Al Majarad. Here we have to see that it comes on the pattern of Ismul Mafrul. And from the context, we will see if it is Ismul Maful or is it the Dharf? It can be Dharf Makan or Zaman. فحولني حول يحول تحويلا from number two. الطبيب so the uh, the the doctor transferred me إلى المستشفى to the hospital العامة general and the doctor transferred me to the general hospital. Now we can see that مستشفى ends with alif مقصورة. And we can't see the, the ending, so we will say the ending is hidden. Uh, and Al-Ama is, is, as we can see, Mansub over here. So if you look at the translation, I went to the university dispensary. Uh, Mustawsif, the exact word is dispensary, but it can be translated as clinic as well. However, you know, in Arabic, the word clinic is Iyada. 
and the doctor transferred me to the general hospital la basa alayka uh here it means may no harm come to you tahurun insha allah and we know that this is the masnoon uh, dua or masnoon way of uh, seeing a patient so whenever we see a patient we make this dua for him uh, may no harm come to you and may may your illness be a means of cleansing for you tahurun to be cleans insha allah if allah wills astadanta almudira now we can see that this is hamzatul qati right but we know that in this form we do not have hamzatul qati we have hamzatul wasl so what could be uh, what this uh, what this construction could be then astadanta almudira any ideas mm -hmm. Istafala Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Yeah, is istafala ista ista istadana is is to ask for permission. But the question is, my question is, uh, you know, the Hamza is Hamza to istifham, right? So we should have kasra over here. It should be istadanta al mudira. But here we have Hamza al qati. What could be the reason over there? Okay. It is basically Hamzatul Istifham over here that is used to ask a question. And then we have the past tense, Istivanta, you asked or you sought the permission. And we know that when whenever we have Hamzatul Istifham and after that, we have Hamza, which is, uh, uh, what do we call that? Hamzatul Wasl, yeah. So when we have Hamzatul Wasl, then what happens, Hamzatul Wasl becomes Sakin, we don't pronounce it. Since it, it becomes sakin, it is not written as well. So it becomes like this, astadanta al -madira. And when you look at the translation, you will, you will be able to figure out, did you seek the permission of the headmaster? And this is the question. So uh, if you see Hamzat al qati over here, it should be astadantu. Astadantu, yani I asked for the permission. But if it is, over here, that means that it cannot be Hamzat al Wasl, it has to be Hamzat al Qata and it has to be a question as we can see over here. So, this is basically a question over here. Yeah, so this is basically a question over here. So, Asta Danta al Madira, did you seek the permission of the headmaster? And we started learning about this starting from form number seven. Uh, which was in uh, in Island up to from number ten, we have been practicing this in the uh, in all the exercises. So now you should get used to it, inshallah. And when you are reciting the Quran, um, you have to figure out. You have to see that from from number seven, eight, nine, and ten, uh, they cannot have Hamza al qatir So if you see the past tense, and if after the past tense, if you see that there is Hamza al qatir that means it is a question. Um, we have learned about this in, in some of the verses of the Quran as well in from number eight. Abdul Maliku, naam, yes. Istadantuhu. So now you can see here, istadantuhu, istadantu, I asked for the permission. So when you say I asked for the permission, that means it is not a question anymore. It is the past tense. Istadantuhu, qabl al dhahabi, before leaving. Fa'adhina li, and he permitted me. So adhina ya'dhanu is to permit someone to do something. And istadhana yasta'adhinu is to ask for the permission. So this is basically from number one or verb number one, athulathi al-mujarad, or the base verb of the of the form of the verbs, base form of the verbs, adhina ya'dhanu. And when we take it into form number 10, then it becomes to seek or to ask for the permission. So, yes, I sought his permission before leaving. And we know Qabla al Dhahabi, the Hab is Masdar, and that's why the Masdar is translated as with ING, as we can see over here. Uh, I sought his permission before leaving. So he permitted me. Adena, Li, he permitted me. So Adena comes with the preposition of Li, which is over here. Yarinul Jarasu, 
the bell rings fayakhruju al madarrisu and the teacher leaves wa yatba'uhu hamidun and hamid follows him tabi'a yatba'u to follow yatba'u hamidun hamidun follow uh, hamid follows him wa yusirru ilayhi hadithan yusirru can you figure out uh, this form which verb form is this Excellent. Fourth one. Asarra yusirru istraran. Excellent. So we have from number one. From number one is sarra yasurru. Sarra yasurru that means to be happy. Sarra yasurru means to be happy. And this tashdeed is on ra. Okay. That means to be happy. But when we say asarra yusirru istraran, that means to tell a secret to someone okay or to speak to someone secretly so here now we can see and hadith and means a talk or a conversation uh, here it, it is in the context of uh, just a conversation or just a small talk uh, when we refer it to the to the saying of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that meant that means it refers only to that the sayings of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that is also called hadith Hadith also means new. Wasala hadithan when something new arrives, and also it means a small conversation or a talk. The bell rings, so the teacher leaves, and Hamid follows him and secretly says a word to him, as we can see here. Wayusiru ilayhi hadithan and secretly says a word to him or secretly talks to him. Hamidun ya fadilat al-shaykhi. O oh, Honorable Sheikh, Uridu an atahadatha. So Uridu, you know, Arada Uridu is from number four as well. Um, to want. An, as we know that this is a uh, harful uh, nasb and then the madari after that becomes mansub. So it was basically atahadathu, but because of an, it has become atahadatha. I want to talk to you and it comes with the preposition of ila. أن أتحدث إليك في موضوع in a topic or موضوع means a subject so here it is something that is common and not something proper and it also means subject matter so I talk I want to talk to you in a subject subject matter ولكنني أستحي but I feel shy استحيا يستحي استحياء to to feel shy in Allah la yastahi an yadriba mathalan ma ba'uda right in Allah la yastahi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not feel shy as we have in surah al-baqarah walakinni astahi but i feel shy so oh honorable sheikh i want to talk to you about a subject matter but i feel shy al mudarrisu the teacher qul say wala tastahi and do not feel shy what kind of la is this La an nafia, right? And we know that after la an nafia, tamadare becomes mansub. Oh, sorry, majzum. Yeah, it becomes majzum. We chop it. So, do you see something being chopped over here? Qul is fil al amr, wa and la tastahi and do not feel shy. Okay. Now we have two verbs over here. This one and this one. Can you see the difference in these two verbs? Astahi, I feel shy. So we have here ya number one, and we have ya number two, right? And we know that la anafia makes the madare majzum. So when it becomes majzum, then what happens? One extra ya gets dropped, as you can see over here. Qul say wala tastahi and do not feel shy did you get the idea so it was here it was astahji but here it becomes la tastahji because you know whenever we have la nafia after that the mudari becomes majzum that means the ending becomes sakin and the last word we have to drop it and here the second ya has been dropped i hope it's clear now ahtaju i want ila mablaghin uh, an amount from the money. So 
أحتاج إلى مبلغ من المال that means I need or I want I need in fact I need some money استقرضت من زملاء علي استقرضت I asked for the loan من زملاء علي uh, from some of my colleagues okay from some of my colleagues now why do I translate it as uh, from some of my colleagues because it is Zumala Ali and we know that Zumala is a Mamnu Minasarf so it is Zumala Ali it could also be Zumala E Min Zumala E right it is also possible what will be the difference if I say Min Zumala E and Min Zumala Ali both of them are Mudaf Mudaf Aleh uh, but the first one is Mudaf this one is mudaf mudaf ilaha over here with the preposition of li and it means something common some of my friends some of my colleagues some of my classmates but if we say zumala e that means all of my classmates that will be also mudaf mudaf ilaha so that is a small difference istaqrattu min zumala ali i so i asked for a loan uh, from my classmates فَلَمْ يُقْرِضُونِي And they did not give me loan uh, or they did not lend me any money. يُقْرِضُونِي What do you think? Which form is this? Form number? أَقْرَدَ يُقْرِضُ أَحْسَنْتِ أَقْرَدَ يُقْرِضُ إِقْرَادًا Okay, to give loan or to give, uh, to lend some money, okay? It was basically يُقْرِضُ نِئْنِي And there were two noons and it was basically يُقْرِضُ as we know that it was yuqriduna, it was yuqriduna, and what happened because of lam, as we can see, lam makes the mudari maizum. So this noon has been dropped. Okay, if this noon has been dropped, uh, where has this noon come from? Any idea? Noon plus ya al mutakallim, yeah, noon al wiqaya. If you if you remember the name. This is Noon al wiqaya and it comes with the verb and Ya al mutakallim So, what happens uh, whenever you have Ya al mutakallim as the receiver of the action or the object, then we have to use Noon al wiqaya so that it becomes readable. Because if we drop the mudari, if we make it Yuqridu and then we have Ya al mutakallim is it readable? Yuqridu and then we have Ya, so it's not readable. So, that's why we have to insert a small Noon. And it becomes yuqriduni. Daraba, he hit. And if you want to say he hit me, you will say daraba ni. Daraba ni. And there are many examples. Saada, he helped. And you want to say he helped me. So what do we say? Saada ni. He helped me. And they did not lend me. Fahal yumkinuni. So is it possible for me? An aqtarida minka. To borrow from you. An aqtarida minka to borrow from you. Now, such a beautiful uh, you know, sentence over here. We have form number 10 over here, and we have form number four over here, and we have form number eight over here. Um, from yeah, form number eight over here. So uh, how how would you differentiate in the meanings? Now if you remember the characteristics of these forms, for example, form number four, aqrada yuqridu iqradan, as we know that this is causative. Um, so first we look at the translation. I need some money. I asked for a loan from my classmates, but they didn't lend me. So is it possible for me to borrow from you? Okay. So I asked for a loan. They didn't lend me. And is it possible for two? for me to borrow from you, okay? So we have three different situations and three different verbs and three different forms, okay? The first one is aqrada, yuqridu iqradan, that means to lend money. From number four, to lend money. Falam yuqriduni, so they did not lend me money. Then we have from number eight, which is iqtarada, yuqtaridu iqtiradan, that means to borrow. That means to what? Borrow. And then we have from number 10, which is istaqrada, yastaqridu istiqradan, that means to ask for loan. Now, alhamdulillah, we have been discussing this uh, from the beginning of form number two, and I have been explaining this. I mean, every now and then we have taken so many verses of the Quran, so many examples, 
And that is what we are supposed to do now. We have to focus on these forms and we have to see how the meanings and how the forms change. We know that form number four is uh, positive. So you cause someone to do something or you give some someone loan. So that's why it is form number four. Uh, we know that form number eight is reflexive when you receive something from someone. So that's why it is to borrow. And we know that form number 10 is used to seek something. So that's why, as we can see, to ask for something or to seek something. So that's why it is to ask for a loan. I hope, inshallah, that these forms are clear now. Naam, yes, inshallah, if Allah wills. Jazakallahu khayran. So please make sure that whenever you say Jazakallah, make sure to say khayran because jaza could be khayran, it could be sharr. Jazakallah khayran. Sa'atika atayati and aati, I will come. Sa'atika, I will come to you. Bada salat al asri, after the asr prayer. Insha'Allah, if Allah wills. Al Madarisu, the teacher. Then, then, antadiraka. Antadiraka. This is our fourth uh Adat al-Nasb or tool of uh, Nasb we can see over here. It then also makes the Madare Mansub. It makes the Madare Mansub. It was basically Antadiru Ka. It was Ru. It was Dhamma over here. But because of Idan, it has become Mansub as we know. What are the other Adawat al-Nasb? Do you remember four of them, three of them? So now, inshallah, we will complete four of them. All of them will be completed over here. The one that we learned first one was Lamut Talil, right? Lamut Talil, which is which comes with uh, Kasra and it makes the Madari Mansub. The second one that we learned was An, an right? So, for example, you say, I want to go. So you will say, Uridu An Adhaba, or Uridu Li Adhaba. Both of them mean the same i want to go li an we have also learned in this lesson kai kai or that means so and sometimes it is used as li kai also the same meaning and the fourth one you can see now over here is idan okay idan and there are uh, for using idan there are some conditions and inshallah when we do the exercises uh, we will see the conditions uh, there are some conditions to use idan but there are no conditions to use li an and likai. Uh, all of them make them budare mansub. Then anta uh, Then I will wait for you. It is translated as then. Hamidun anta ana fi baytika. Okay, what will be the ending of al jadid? I hope inshallah you can figure it out now. Al an fi baytika. I'll give you a hint. Jadidi. Excellent. Yeah, because it's very simple. It is used as adjective for bait. So you know that whenever we have mosuf and sifa, the noun and the adjective, we know that they will be equal in number, gender, uh, and also status and capacity. They should be equal in four things, okay? Bait, is it here? Is it definite or indefinite? Nakira or marifa? Come on, ya tulabi, come on. No, why? If it is nakira, then why do you have al jadid? We shouldn't have al jadid after that, right? It's a very simple thing to figure out. Whenever you have attached pronoun, whenever we have attached pronoun with a noun, then the noun changes from indefinite to definite. Very simple. Whenever we have any of the common nouns or the indefinite noun and whenever we have the attached pronoun with that then it changes into definite noun because all the attached pronouns they are definite so uh, for example kitabuka kitabuhu kitabuha we know kitab is a is a indefinite noun but when we have who huma hum ka kuma kum ina whenever we have attached pronoun with them then they become definite nouns that's why because it's a definite noun that's why the sifa that we have to use has to be definite as well all right did you get the idea if we have if we have baituka 
then what will be the ending of Al-Jadid? Baituka Al-Jadid and if we have Baitaka it will be Al-Jadida and now here we have Fi Baitika and that's why it is Al-Jadidi this is what we call um, the use of adjective in Idafa construction so basically Baituka or Baitika is also Madaf Madaf Ilayh and with the Madaf Madaf Ilayh if you want to use the adjective then the adjective has to come separately we cannot put them together because you know the attached pronouns they come first so that's why it could be slightly confusing the example that I gave you from the Quran from book number two was Narullahil Muqada. Narullahil Muqada. What will be the ending of Muqada? You have to check from the Quran today, okay? Narullahi, this is the sifa of the Nar. Narullahi, the kindled fire of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Al Muqada. What will be the ending of Al Muqada? Muqada too. Ahsanti, perfect. Because naru is marfu and muqadatu has to be mansu because nar is feminine and muqada is also feminine. Nar is marfu and the muqadatu has to be mansu as uh, marfu and it has to be marfu as well. If you remember one example from the Quran, inshallah, that will be enough. So narullah is idafa construction, right? Mada mudafale. And now we want to use adjective with that. So adjective will come after the idafa construction and it will take the ending of mudaf so if you have to look for the mudaf and then you have to put the ending accordingly alaysa kadhalik isn't it so i'm also asking alaysa kadhalik isn't it okay what will be your answer alaysa kadhalik isn't it indeed yes ustad indeed bala bala ahsanti yes okay um you are now in your new house isn't it so whenever we have a negative question because laysa is used for negation so whenever we have a negative question then the answer has to be bala it cannot be naam okay it has to be bala as we can see over here bala in english it means yes but in arabic it has to be bala do you remember the example from the quran alastu bi rabbikum alastu bi rabbikum and in the quran we have bala am i not your lord Yes, okay, in, Arab, in English we say yes, but in Arabic it means we have to use bala, we don't have to use na'am, because it, we, if we use na'am, uh, then the meaning will definitely change. Hamidun asa an takuna mustarihan fihi. Okay, now, uh, what kind of asa is this? Does anyone remember? Subhanallah, I love these books because the Sheikh always, uh, whenever he introduces this kind of, you know, uh, whenever he introduces a new idea in the previous lesson, either he brings the same idea in the beginning of the next lesson, or he brings the same idea in the end of the next lesson. Asa, how many things do you remember about Asa? Not even a single thing? This is it is fail naqis. Yeah, it is fail naqis. That means uh, it cannot convey the meaning by itself. It needs mubtada and khabar. Okay. Now here, uh, we need uh, mubtada. So what is mubtada of asa over here? No, it's a very complex uh, construction over here. You need to be very careful about it. You know, Kana Yakunu has its own function. Kana has its own ism and it has its, its own khabar, yeah? So now we have a problem over here. Asa has its uh, ism, ismu asa and khabaru asa, and Kana has its is, uh, ismu kana and khabaru kana. What is going to happen now over here? Asa, okay, now is it Asa at or Asa ad naqisa is it complete asa or incomplete, incomplete asa? And I gave you a very uh, complete or very, uh, I should say, clear difference between these two. Do you remember the difference between these two? at and an yeah. If and it tamma. is, yes, 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 please. Asa Ahsanti, asa at perfect. Why? Because we don't have a noun after that. We don't have a noun after that. Whenever we talk about asa and naqisa, that means there has to be a noun after that. For example, asallahu an yaghfir lana. 
Asallahu ay yaghfira lana. So we have asallahu. So we have to have a noun after that, okay? So if we have a noun after that, that means this is asa ad naqisa. That means it needs a muqtada and it needs a khabar, okay? And an yaghfira lana. And we know that the khabar of asa always comes as al masdar al muawwal. It always comes with an. Please remember that, okay? Here we do not have a noun after that. So that means uh, ismu asa is hidden inside it, right? Hua, it is hidden inside it. And an takuna is khabaru asa. Or we can say atama doesn't need ism, so it only has a khabar, and this is asa an takuna. So I hope he is or he feels. Now, this construction is complete. Now let's move on to takun. What happened over here? Kana is also is hidden. Uh... Yes, uh, here it is easy. Anta, anta is hidden in, into it. Anta takuna, right? So anta will be ismu kana and mustarihan will be khabaru kana because we know kana Allahu aliman hakima. Asallahu an yaghfir lana. So we can we know that after uh, ismu kana will be always marfu and khabaru kana will be mansub. Similarly, ismu asa will be marfu. And khabaru asa will be always al master al muawwal. So basically, mustarihan is khabaru kana. Fihi in it. Excellent. So uh, I hope you are comfortable in it. Okay. So mantaka mustaqatun istirahatun, the place where we take some rest. If you live in the uh, Middle Eastern countries, you can see that it's written over there when you are at, traveling on the highway. Then we have a place where you can take some rest. It is written over there. Mintaqatun istirahatun, and in the place to take some rest. So istiraha, yastarihu istirahan is to, to feel relaxed or to feel comfortable. So I hope you are comfortable in it. And here, asa is used as the meaning of hope. It can also be transferred as fear, I fear, but uh, here it is not translated as fear. Here it is, I hope. Naam, yes, alhamdulillah, yes, and praise be to Allah. Alhamdulillah, the text is finished. So I think we have uh, we have just completed the text. So we can uh, quickly do the exercise, maybe one exercise, or maybe a couple of exercises, so that our knowledge is fresh and we can benefit from it. Right? Ajibu anil asilatil atiya. Answer the following questions. Mata istayqada istayqada Zakaria min al naumi. When did Zakaria wake up from his sleep. It was around nine o'clock. Hmm? So, istayqada Zakaria as-sa'a tasia. Oh, we can say, istayqada as-sa'a tasia. Istayqada as-sa'a tasia. He woke up at nine o'clock. Okay. Lima ta'akhara Abdul Malik. Lima ta'akhara Abdul Malik, uh, why was Abdul Malik late? Any? Uh, he went to the, we, we took it today that he went to the dispensary and then the doctor sent him to the general hospital. Uh, excellent. Okay, so, Ta'akhara Abdul Malik, Lianahu Zahaba Ila Mustawsafi. Uh, because he went to the dispensary or to the clinic, al Jamati of the university. فَحَوَّلَهُ الطَّبِيبُ إِلَى الْمُسْتَشْفَى الْعَامَةِ And then the, then the doctor, لا, it should be uh, إِلَى الْمُسْتَشْفَى الْعَامِي Because we have إِلَى over here, yeah. إِلَى, so it has to be Majroor, excellent, okay. And then the doctor sent him to the general hospital. ماذا طلب حامد من المدرسي? What did Hamid ask from the teacher? He had a doubt. And... No, he was asking for something like money, isn't it? Yeah. Talaba Hamidun Mablagan Minal Mali. Mablagan Minal Mali. Talaba Hamablag means amount. Minal Mal means from the money. So it will be translated as he asked for some money. Mablag is the place where we reach. Balaga Yablugu. And you know that Mablaghun is, is it is a, a, a dharf, the place of reaching. 
Uh, so Mablagh in, in Arabic, then in this context, that money is something that we have to reach. So that's why the word that is used for money is Mablagh. Mablagh min al mal, an amount from from the money. So Talab Hamidun Mablagh min al mali. Hamid asked for some money. He needed some money. So he asked the teacher to lend him some money. And then we have uh, the last exercise over here, inshallah. Min abwaabil fail al thalathi al mazidi babu istafala. So from the forms of the derived verbs, we have bab istafala. Zidat fi awalihi hamzatun. Zidat is increased. Fi awalihi, and we know that this is a uh, passive. In the beginning of it, hamzatun. Hamza is added. Wasinun and sinin is added. Wataun and ta is added. So hamza. Seen and ta, these are huruf azaida. These are extra letters. That's why we call them al 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 mazid. Yani these are the derived forms of the verb. So we can see over here, hamza is extra, seen is extra, and ta is extra. So istaqbala means to welcome or to receive. Istaghfara, that means to ask for forgiveness. And istamarra means to continue. Istamarra means to continue. It was marara, and we know that after the Assimilation, it has become istamarra. Istakhrij. Which verb form is this now? Form number? Form number 10, yes. 10 that we are doing now. Excellent. Istakhrij. So kharaja yakhruju, we mean, we know it means to go out, right? Kharaja means to leave, okay? Istakhrij, that means to, to bring something out. To seek, to bring something out, yeah? So istakhrij min al darsi al afal al waridata. So then it will be translated as find out or extract. The, the real translation will be extract. The following verbs. from So what do we have to do? Now we have to extract or we have to istakhraj. So let's do istikhraj. Istalqaytu. I would like you to please translate it. Does anyone remember the meaning of istalqaytu? It's past tense, failun, failun ma'adin. Uh, I lied down. Istalqa, yastalqi, istilqa'an is to lie down. Istalqaytu, I lied down. Istaqrada. Istaqrada, fail ma'adi. Yes, the translation, does anyone remember? They asked loan, yes, sir. Yeah, he asked, yeah. He asked for the loan. Because if you say, uh, they asked for loan, loan it will be istaqradu. Istakrada, istakrada, istakradu. So he asked for loan. Istahmamtu, istahmamtu. Past tense. Tu means I, right? Tu means I. I took shower. Istahmamtu, I took shower. Astahi, this is felun mudari. This is the present tense. Astahi, I am shy. I feel shy. Excellent. La tastahi, fel mudari, my zoom. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. Okay. Don't be shy. So, do you see the difference over here? The extra ya has been dropped. La tastahi, don't be shy. Istat emuni felun amrin or felu amrin. Yeah. Istat emuni ask me for the food. Yani seek food from me. And of course, it refers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the Hadith al qudsi that we saw that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Istat imuni, ask me for the food. Sa'ut imukum, I will feed you. Istahaduni. Ask guidance from, from me. me. Seek guidance from me. Ahdikum, I will guide you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the, in, in the Hadith al qudsi that ask me for the guidance and I will guide you. Istaksuni. You ask me, we are dressed. For the clothes, yes, yes. Saaksukum, uh, and I will give you the clothes. So this hadith al Qudsi where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ask me for the food and I will give you the food. Ask me for the clothes and I will ask you for the clothes. I will give you the clothes, sorry, and ask me for the guidance. So I will give you the guidance. So khalasat al-kalam is, the summary is that anything that we need to ask, we have to ask only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even the, 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 the meaning of the hadith is even if you ask for the lace of your shoe, ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there is another hadith. If you ask, 
ask only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know that this means, asking means, that means the heavenly help that we need. If I ask my son to give me a good glass of water, you know that this is the help of the dunya and we need it, right? We cannot live without it. We ask for help, like for, I'm helping you, you're helping me. Uh, I'm asking my son to give me something, but that doesn't mean that he is qadir or he has the ability to give something. Here it means that when we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that means he is the only one who can give us and no one else has the power to give us these things. You know what I mean? And then we have istadhana, yasta'adhinu istadhanan. That means to ask for permission and this is failan maadin. Alhamdulillah, uh, we have completed two exercises and inshallah when we continue again in the next lesson, uh, we will continue with the exercises. Subhanaka lahuma wa bihamdika. Ashadu la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.